Standing at just under 80 centimeters in height and carved from a single block of pristine white marble, this elegant standing figure of St. John the Baptist is attributable to one of the foremost Parisian court sculptors of the early 14th century. Its author, Robert de Lanois, first appears in the tax records of Paris in 1292, before entering the employ of Mahot, the powerful Countess of Artois, two decades later. He is best known for a series of life-size limestone apostle figures, today preserved at the Musée de Cluny in Paris. Documents reveal that he carved them in the early 1320s to decorate the choir of the now-destroyed church of Saint-Jacques l'Hôpital in the heart of Paris. A number of close stylistic links between these apostles and our more intimately scaled figure of St. John the Baptist make its attribution to his hand a matter beyond doubt. It was carved with the same approach to posture, anatomical proportion, surface texture, and the complex interplay of drapery and flesh that's traceable across all of Delanois' sculptures, while telltale idiosyncrasies such as the manner in which the saint's beard splits into two overlapping locks are identical. While it is unclear who commissioned our figure, its use of marble imported from Italy at what would have been eye-watering expense at the time indicates that it must have been a patron from the uppermost echelons of society. Time was lavished on its execution, with several fine grades of chisel delineating even the most delicate details of the saint's hair, veins and facial features, and with differing levels of polish suggesting the varied textures of skin and cloth. The remains of gold leaf and areas of an ochre ground layer also indicate that it was once selectively polychromed and gilded to further enhance the rare preciousness of its material. It may have been produced as part of a larger sculptural tableau of a type used to decorate a number of clerical and princely tombs during the period, or it could have been made as a single standalone figure set up in a chapel dedicated to the saint. Despite these gaps in our knowledge, however, what remains clear is that this remarkable sculpture marks an absolute high point in the courtly arts of the 14th century.